so f to study organism, whether it's um, non-parasitic or a parasitic, you need to have a very um, good handle on their genome because everything is imprinted in the DNA. With this uh, genome paper, we are able to develop a very uh, complete genome. Previous genome was 57 percent uh, covered. Uh, the genome was 57 percent covered for tick. This time we uh, go until almost 99 percent. So, so basically, second second aspect of the uh, the genome uh, is the annotation. So we were able to develop a much better annotation using the RNA sequence we developed for this genome, and uh, there are. 40 percent new annotation and when you say 40 percent is huge because tick produces almost 30,000 you know gene and annotation is important because it can give a possible functional implication of the DNA sequence and and not only that we are able to identify 2,000 new gene which is a huge. So we now knew about 2,000 new genes that one can study and, uh, and, and know their function. And um, the other aspect of the study that we um, presented in the paper is the huge genetic variation of ticks. And this is interesting because uh, just give an example of Lyme disease. 90 percent of the Lyme disease cases of 500,000 a year almost come from 10 state, but Ixodes tick is present in many, many more state. There are many factors, but one factor could be is the genetic variation in tick. And our genome was able to show that they are so much genetically distinct. There are so many much difference in the genome. How you find out? you find out by comparing a pieces of information of those ticks, but you need a reference genome to map to. And our genome was able to serve that reference genome that you can map those and see those differences are. And this is just the beginning. We will have, or, or many other scientists around the world will have the opportunity to do the similar thing. And I think this is a another impact that our study should have.